Hello, today we will be walking through the homepage of our portal environment. On my screen, you'll see an example of what this could look like, but this is just our demo environment. This could be completely different in your particular setup. Our environment, for example, has InnerWorks logos, colors, etc. But in your environment, you could obviously switch this out for your particular branding. Anything on this page can be customized to exactly how you want it to look and feel. The menu could be on the left. You could have a darker color scheme. You could even show 12 dashboards instead of six. There are a lot of different options for how this is shown in your particular setup. In our environment, I've opted for the navigation across the top with a simple search bar on the right side of the header area. This search can search across not only our particular dashboards that we have set up in the portal, but also pages on the portal itself or even external pages. All of this can be set up and indexed based on keywords for your end users to search across. Moving right from there, you'll notice that I've actually included user authentication in this portal setup as well. I'm currently logged in with a portal demo user. This authentication is tied directly with Tableau server and any user on that server can log into the portal environment. Any permissions I have on Tableau server will actually be reflected in this environment as well. If I don't have access to this oil field dashboard, for instance, it disappears. It's removed automatically from the tiles on the home page and replaced with a different dashboard. The drop down navigation across the top disappears. If for some reason I had the URL to that dashboard and I went directly to it, I'd get a 404 error. Because my user has no access to that dashboard, I don't need to see it in the portal environment either. Another thing you'll notice on the home page is golden stars next to some of the dashboards in the dashboard presentation area. These are my favorited dashboards for my particular user. I see these dashboards first and foremost because I've selected them, my user. Any extra spaces after these favorited dashboards is actually populated with some suggested dashboards for my particular user. When I first come to the portal, I won't have any favorited dashboards and so I'll see three suggested dashboards here. Beneath this area, we've set up our portal to have some recently viewed dashboards as well. Because I've seen these dashboards fairly recently, they're probably dashboards I wanna see again. Once again though, keep in mind anything on this page can be customized. This is one example of what you could do at the homepage of your portal, but the possibilities are really endless. We have customers who instead of a page like this, have a static homepage presenting the end user with some information on how to use the portal or simply welcoming them to the portal. We also have customers who opt to have a single dashboard for a homepage, allowing their executive team to come in and have a single place to collect all of the numbers they need for their analysis. In other setups, customers may choose to have six dashboards on the homepage or 12, or a setup with some suggested dashboards and some recently viewed as we have here. As always, if you have any questions on our portal product, fill out the contact us form on portals.enterworks.com and we'll set up a time to talk to you.